guys, today I'm doing another zodiac sign and we're getting very close to the end of the series now. Today is Libra. The colors of Libra are pink and green, so that's kind of interesting. The element is air, the ruler is Venus. The strengths are they're cooperative, diplomatic, gracious, fair minded, and social. Weaknesses indecisive, avoids confrontation, will carry a grudge and self pity. Libra likes harmony, gentleness, sharing with others in the outdoor, and they dislike violence, injustice, loud mouths, and conformity, which I like the word conformity in there. I don't know. I like that. So I feel like we definitely need to do something that's not too plain and everyday. Like it needs to be something a little bit out there so it's not, you know, conforming <laughs> to any kind of certain, you know, beauty standards or anything, even though I still want it to be beautiful. But you know what I mean? So I think we're going to play with a little bit of colour, a little bit of balance, um, a little bit of harmony. Let's just see where this goes. This one like seems to be a little bit difficult as well for me but I'm definitely going to play on those colors pink and green um and we'll just see where this goes so primer I'm going to use like a moisturizer instead of a primer this is called feeling younger skin tint by Lush and it's just like a pearly kind of like um moisturizing product just because I want my skin to be nice and hydrated and glowy I've never actually tried this properly before I don't think oh it's expired huh Classic. My skin, I don't really know like if I'm going matte or dewy. Obviously my preference is dewy. I don't really know what's going to suit the Libra. So I'm going to use my Clinique Beyond Perfecting. I like to mix the shade Sesame and the shade Breeze. Um, just to create like my perfect shade actually. Sesame might be okay today by itself because I am feet tanned. And I'm going to use my sponge as always. Well, not as always, but as most of the time because it's my current favorite way to blend out foundation. This foundation's really good. It's like super full coverage. I really like it. And then under my eyes, I'm gonna use my current favorite, my complete concealer. I always forget what it's called. I don't know why. By Nars. Oh my god, where's my voice going? <clears throat> I just like to use it with the same sponge and just like pat that under the eyes and like on my eyelids. And I even like run it on my waterline. Now at my base is nice and smooth. I do have like this friggin' pimple that will not cover. It's like a scab. It's disgusting. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna apply my powder and I'll be right back and we'll move on to the eye makeup. Okay, I just whipped on my eyebrows with my Kip brow and I'm going to apply some Gimme Brow quickly. I feel like this eyebrow went real arched compared to normal. I'm not quite sure how that happened. <laughs> it's fine. Oh no. What the heck? How did that happen? And then I'm just going to prime my lids. I'm using my Smashbox Lid Primer. I've got a kind of idea of what I want to do. I'm thinking of doing it pink and green on my eyes. Which I know is very outrageous. But let's just roll with it and see what happens. Oh my god, my brush is like so caked with makeup. I need to wash it. I have not washed this in a while. It makes blending so much harder. I have this Emerald Obsessions palette. Is this too green? Like, I don't know. I'm gonna start with the color in this corner. This like, kind of grayy, greenish tone neutrally. I don't even know what that is. That one. My brush looks bright pink. God knows what I was using, but I've washed this brush literally probably like six times since whatever that was. And it's just stained forever. It's like, <laughs> these never usually stain and I don't know what it was. Like, I don't know what caused that. Anyway, this is a firm blender brush, so. I'm just going to start by like kind of putting it into the crease. I'm just kind of like placing the color and slightly blending it. I'm going to blend it out more soon. It's quite a full on color to go in like straight away. Usually I start with like a lighter color, but I just want to see if I can just use this palette. So just like placing and then I'm kind of like wiggling around the edges just to start like buffing it out nicely. Oh, I feel like I'm so dark. Is that better? Now I'm going to take this really light, like, kind of neon greenish aqua colour. <laughs> My colour describing skills are on point today, aren't they? And I'm just going to kind of, like, put this on the front part of the crease. In here somewhere. I'm going to attempt to, like, cut my crease a little. In that inner corner, like, inner half of my eye. And I'm going to, like, put a really bright green on top of this, or, like, a shimmery one. There's one in the palette that I'm kind of, like, eyeing up. So I've just taken that first colour I used in my crease and just kind of like popped that all in the outer half of my eyelid. And then I'm going to apply, like I said, a really nice shimmery brighter green. I'm trying to keep this quite like, I don't know, like pretty still, even though it's non-conforming, like it's a little bit different. I still want it to look harmonious, you know? So the colour, oh god, I'm nervous. I think I'm going to go for this colour because it's bright but it's still light. It's not too intense, hopefully, I don't know. Look at that shimmer, it looks so pretty. 
And that's going to go on top of the base. I've just wet my brush and I'm going to apply it with a pencil brush just to like really get in there. Hopefully make it really pop. Can you focus on me please? Thank you. This colour is so pretty. And then just kind of like attempting to blend it into that darker colour as I get to this outer part of the eye. Just a little like that ish. <laughs> I'm so stressed. Green is like so full on. Okay, now it's on. I'm very happy. I reckon this looks good. I'm just gonna go in with this really dark shimmery green just to kind of like help that transition a little. I don't want to like apply too much of this color because I really like the way it's looking. I just feel like it needs a little bit of help blending together. Oh, that's glam. Okay, I definitely want to do something on the bottom. I'm just not quite sure what yet. So I'm gonna finish off um, my face makeup and then do my lashes and liner because the liner is what's gonna set it up. I'm gonna use like this bright pink one. I have no idea if it's gonna look good or not, but we're going for it. So first, I'm just gonna use some of this True Blend Bronzer and Bronze by CoverGirl. I'm using it on a jumbo face brush. And I'm just going to apply that to my actual cheeks. I'm not contouring with this because it's like very shimmery. It's almost like a highlighter. But I love the glow it gives you. It's like a JLo glow. Like it gives you that super bronze, shiny kind of look. Just a little bit around my temples and hairline. And then to contour, I'm going to use my Pro Glow palette. I haven't used this in a while. With a domed contour brush. And of course, that's just going under the cheekbones. And then I'm going to go ahead and highlight right now. I'm going to use the Soap Highlighter palette again because I really liked it last time I used it. Um, and I'm going to use the Pale Golden shade, I think, because it'll suit the eye makeup. These are like super intense, but... That's what I'm going for. Like, look at that. It's so full on. I recommend using a dense brush so that they blend in really nicely because they are so bright. And then now that all those face products are kind of on, oh, I feel like this is too bright again. Um, I'm just going to use some of my Dewy Mist Glow stuff from the body shop just to set everything. Oh, it's so full on though. But it just makes your skin look so glowy and like incredible. Back to the eyes quickly. I'm going to start with black eyeliner and then I'm going to do the pink afterwards. I feel like this is risky. I'm just going to use my Tartist um, Jewel Ended Liner and do a wing. Oh my god, I'm nervous for this. I feel like I'm going to have to do this off camera because it's like so hard to like freaking do this like up there. I'm like down here like where I need to be. I feel like my eyeliner is not harmonious today and not balanced. I'm sorry Libra. So now I'm just letting this dry so that when I do the pink hopefully it doesn't like mix together. So this eyeliner, once again, it's the NYX Vivid Brights. This is the shade Vivid Petal, and these are so good. I hope you can still purchase them. I've used them in the past, and they are so pigmented and bright and just amazing. There's like a lilac one I love as well. Oh god, this looks a little bit dried out. Look at that. <laughs> it's all crusty on her. Hopefully we can make this work, because it's like the most beautiful color, and I think it'll look cool with the green, like, because it's a little bit, like, pastel. So I'm gonna just do my best. This formula is looking a bit chunky. It's definitely quite old, this product. I've had it in my collection for a few months and I think it's just drying out. So I'm just going to do a line across the top. Once again, I'm probably going to have to vanish for this because it's going to be too hard to do like on camera. But just like above the top like this. I'm going to try and keep it thin. Let's see how we go. Yeah, Mac, the liner is not perfect. But it's as perfect as I'm going to get because it is so dried out. I like really underestimated that. Like that was difficult to use. So that is going straight in the bin now. Now under the eyes before I do my mascara and everything. I think I'm just going to take a little bit of that same first color. The dark color. I actually really like it. Um, and I'm just going to buff that straight underneath. In my waterline I'm going to use a dark green um, eyeliner. I don't know what I was about to say. This is called Wooded Metal Metallic by Makeup Store, I think. Oh god, this is like not even working. What is going on with my makeup today? I'm getting mail. <laughs> and then I'm going to go back in with my little highlight palette and the gold once more. I'm going to use this on my highlight, I mean my highlight, my brow bone. I'm just using it with a pencil brush and also my inner corner. It's actually annoying me so much how like wobbly my eyeliner is. Ugh. Anyways, um, I'm gonna use my NARS mascara today and then apply some falsies to hopefully like disguise the eyeliner a little bit because it's just bugging me. I do love the color contrast though. It's very non-conforming, right? <laughs> I love the green tones so I'm glad um, you know the Libra colors kind of pushed me out of my comfort zone I guess. Like I do love green but like I don't know. 
it just scared me a little when thinking about all the pink, but I really wanted to challenge myself. Okay, so the mascara is on, and now I'm going to use a pair of the Wonderlust lashes by Exo Beauty, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the lashes are on. This eye is bloodshot because I literally just stared myself in the eye so hard. My eye would not stop watering. <sighs> it's okay. It's turning out to be a little bit of like one of those days, you know, where everything just seems to be going wrong. That can go wrong, but that's fine. It's coming through. I think today I want to do, oh my god, I've got like fallout too. Where did you come from? Whatever. Um, I'm going to do some lips to kind of match the eyeliner to keep it all balanced and harmonious, you know? I'm going to use Shannon Lip Pencil by Exo Beauty. It's like a super like hot hot pink as you can see it's like the brightest thing ever and then on top of this I'm going to put a little bit of sweet experience by Mac it's quite fun so there we have it I don't know if you guys will agree with my interpretation I definitely didn't want to do anything boring because it does say non-conforming it's still balanced and harmonious like it still works together it's just like a little bit different oh my god this freaking eyeliner though it's like all cracking Ugh. I feel like that side turned out a little bit better, but still, I feel kind of Barbie-ish in this makeup as well. It's very different. So yeah, this one was definitely another hard one. I feel like some signs are so easy to interpret, like Leo, like it's so like, you know, stereotypical and everything. Whereas some of these signs when it comes to makeup, like trying to like make them work, it's just like, what do I do? And this was another one, just like the previous video, which I'll link down below. But I did have a lot of fun creating this. I think it would look really cool as well if it was neutral. Like neutral with pink liner and pink lips would look epic. But yeah, that is my look today. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. I'm excited for my next one. I think there's only one or two more star sign videos to go. So once again, if you do have any recommendations for series, leave them below because I still have not like decided what I want to do. I'm really nervous. Like I'm just so confused. I just don't know. That's that. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.